Today we're talking about a Marvel character whose name has become synonymous with strength. A character from a time before Marvel, a time before time, a character born thousands of years ago in ancient Greco-Roman mythology, and centuries before that, the Prince of Power was born on Mount Olympus. Today is all about Hercules. We have to travel back in time to a primordial, pre-Olympian world. Here is where the Titans ruled. Powerful gods like Gaia, Uranus and Gaia, representing the sky and earth, came together to produce their children one of which was a being named Cronus, a god who would symbolize the destructive, erosive, and corrosive nature of the concept of time. It was Cronus who overthrew his father, ushering in the Titanomachy, and which led to a new pantheon of gods ruling from Mount Olympus, which became the Olympian gods, and these were ruled by the son of Cronus, Zeus. Later, Zeus fathered many children, one of which was a boy named Alcaeus, a boy he fathered with Alcmene, his own great-granddaughter, and not his wife Hera. Alcmene's husband, the Theban general Amphitryon, was away when Zeus came to her, appearing with Amphitryon's own visage to seduce her. Livid at Zeus's infidelity, Hera renamed Alcaeus in honor of her wrath, and she grew to despise this boy and what he represented, and so Alcaeus became Heracles. Hercules is the Roman mythological version of Heracles. From a young age, Hercules was already displaying amazing feats of strength and his adventures became legendary, such as his quest with Jason and the Argonauts to find the Golden Fleece. In 1270 BC, he started the Twelve Labors, which were a quest to prove his worthiness in the eyes of Zeus to earn his immortality. Tales were told over the preceding centuries of his adventures and exploits, and his tales were taught in schools as mythology and history. And then, in 1965, in the pages of Journey into Mystery Annual 1, the son of Odin clashed with the son of Zeus for the first time in Marvel Comics history. In that story, Thor and his brother Loki traveled to Jotunheim and battled with storm giants. Thor struck his mighty hammer Mjolnir on the ground, crashing through the mountain, and he fell through a portal and right through a hidden entrance to Olympus. And it was there that Thor ran into Hercules, and the two mighty gods battled. It was an immense fight, Thor and his hammer Mjolnir versus Hercules and the golden mace of Hercules. In the midst of battle, they cast off their weapons and went to blows, trading fists and strikes with neither god giving in. Hercules almost had Thor when he wrapped Thor in the enchanted pole of heroes, but Thor burst out and struck back. The only things that could stop them was when the monarch of Olympus, Zeus himself, approached, and the two sons bowed in respect. Zeus forced Thor and Hercules to shake hands and become friends, and with that, Zeus returned Thor to Loki's side. Then as Thor suffered the wrath of his father over his love of Jane Foster, Zeus sent Hercules down to Earth, having grown wary of Hercules' constant sparring in his battles in Olympus. And the people of Earth treated this Olympian as the god he was, fawning over him and his physique and providing him with food and drink. Even as a Hollywood agent called him in for a starring role, saying Hercules would make King Kong look like Powder Puff. At the foot of the hospital where Jane Foster was recovering from smoke inhalation, a squad of mobsters attacked and Hercules fought them, drawing Jane's attention. Thor managed to escape Odin's wrath and flee to Earth just in time to see Hercules and Jane together. And this was enough for Thor and Hercules to fight once more, right in the streets of New York. But neither could fell the other. Hercules smashed Thor with an entire building and the God of Thunder collapsed at Hercules' feet. Hercules then accepted that Hollywood agent's movie deal offer as Thor slowly rose back to his feet. But did he really lose? Because Jane stayed behind with Thor. Hercules and his new agent boarded a train to head out to California and on the way had a confrontation with the Incredible Hulk who was running away from the U.S. Air Force. That agent, named JP, who was really the god Pluto, aka Hades, god of the underworld, built a movie set at Stardust Studios to look like Olympus and Hercules was impressed, even more so when his co-star showed up. Pluto tricked Hercules into signing a contract and his co-star turned out to be the actual Hippolyta. The contract was that they would switch places, enabling Pluto to escape from the underworld and Hercules would be relegated to ruling the Stygian depths forever. Hercules was nearly forced into the underworld but fought back long enough that Thor showed up to help his friend. Hercules made his way to his father Zeus to ask for help, trying to figure out a way out of the contract. Zeus said Herc would have to find a champion to brave the depths of Hades to save him, a noble and brave warrior to champion him. And that would be Thor, of course. This was at the same time that Odin sent Thor to Limbo for the Day of Three Worlds prophecy. Hercules was sent away and Thor heard his desperate cry in Limbo and Thor now had his mission. Thor confronted Pluto, who told him that if he failed, that Thor would have to take Hercules' place, ruling the underworld, but trapped forever. Thor was not dissuaded and stormed into the netherworld, fighting through Cerberus, legions of soldiers, walls of flames and arrows to save his new friend. And at the end, Pluto tore up the contract and Hercules, Prince of Power, was released. 
After this, Amora the Enchantress seduced Hercules and cast a spell, forcing him to fight the Avengers against his will. He was able to overcome that, however, but by this time his father Zeus was angry he'd been away from Olympus, and so Zeus banished Hercules from their godly mountain home. Now with nowhere to go, Hercules ended up staying with the Avengers, joining them in their fights with foes like the Triumvirate of Terror, Diablo, Dragon Man, Red Guardian, and even Super Adaptoid. It wasn't until Hercules and the Avengers fought with Typhon to save Olympus that he was finally allowed to go home to Olympus. After that, he fought with the Huntsman and was able to defeat him with an assist from Namor. Then after Ares teamed up with Amora the Enchantress to take over Olympus, they took away Hercules' memories, and Hercules found himself as a strongman in a circus, and it was Hawkeye who found Hercules and brought him back to the Avengers so they could all defeat Ares and Amora and save Olympus. In Thor's book in 1974, Thor stormed Olympus to confront Hercules. Thor had been lied to by Pluto, and after a brief fight, Zeus broke them up. And Zeus said instead of doing that, why don't you both work together? So they both traveled to Hades, battling through hordes of Pluto's troops, eventually learning that Pluto and Ares were working together now. So they then defeated Ares and went further into hell to confront Pluto. Thor and Hercules fought through snake women and bats from hell, only to find that Pluto had escaped. Odin was the one who told him that Pluto was now in Manhattan, and so Thor went there and defeated Pluto. That's when they learned that Krista, Hildegard's sister and one of the Valkyries, was gravely ill. They took her to a hospital, and Hercules then had to fight with the Destroyer, and after Krista's operation, Thor went to help Hercules defeat him. They both then fought with a herald of Galactus named Fire Lord, and during the fight, Fire Lord summoned Galactus to Earth. So Thor had to quickly catch Hercules up on what Galactus was and the threat that he posed. And in a twist, Herc and Thor teamed up with Galactus and Fire Lord to take on the mad Ego the Living Planet. Together they battled through everything Ego threw at them, cutting their way to the core and to Ego's mind. Later, back on Earth, Hercules came across an elderly man being assaulted by a criminal and tried to rescue him, but the old man killed himself, something that was happening a lot. So Hercules went back to Thor and ended up collapsing to the ground at Thor's feet. Thor brought Hercules to Avengers Mansion so Iron Man could try to work out what had happened. And later, after Hercules was recovered, he was walking in the city when it was struck by earthquakes, and so both he and Spider-Man investigated. Hercules saw it was the work of the City Stealers. Hercules let the City Stealers capture him so he could learn their motives. And back at their lair, he learned that the City Stealers had broken the entirety of the city away, and they were towing it out to sea. At the end of that ordeal, Hercules managed to literally pull the entire Manhattan Island back to where it was. In Marvel Premiere 26, Hercules was helping fight fires in California, which brought him once more into battle with the treacherous Typhon and a lady named Scylla. After that, Hercules teamed up with Ghost Rider, Iceman, Black Widow, and Angel to form a team called the Champions. The Champions, based out of the LA area, battled with the likes of Ares, Pluto, and Hippolyta. And eventually, though, the Champions disbanded, but Hercules had grown close to Natasha Romanoff, the Black Widow, and they stayed together after the team was stood down, even pairing up to help the Avengers against the likes of foes like the Collector and Michael Korvac. For a brief moment, Hercules joined the Defenders on a whim, as a defender for a day, but ended up quitting. Instead, he helped the Avengers fight against the Fire Demon Surtur, which was the catalyst for him rejoining the Avengers team. In Marvel 2 and 1 issue 44, Hercules teamed up with Ben Grimm, the Thing, to save Zeus who'd been captured by some evil beasts, tale of valor Ben told to some kids around campfire. Later, Odin, Zeus, Hercules, and an army of Olympians teamed up to fight back against the Eternals who'd formed the Unimind and attacked. When the Avengers roster was slated to be called down to a few core members, the whole roster was called into the mansion for roll call. And it's then that Hercules met Wonder Man. Wonder Man said he was nearly as strong as Thor, so Hercules punched Wendy in the face, sending him flying. But it wasn't out of anger. Hercules thought it was fun, and sparring was a way to test the measure of a man. Wendy then punched Hercules back and threw a wall, and they immediately became good friends. Now, Teamless, 1982, Hercules had two miniseries called Hercules Prince of Power, one in 82 and one in 1984. Hercules decided to return to Olympus. So angry, Zeus banished Hercules from Olympus once more, but he didn't send him to Earth, he banished him to the vastness of the cosmos. Hercules took his steeds and a chariot and flew off into space. There he crossed paths with the colonizers of Rigel, who gave him food, rest, and a recorder unit to travel with him. They flew to Star Harbor on the resort planet Potoko. He ended up saving the day when a Starliner crashed in the city. On the planet Antares, he helped save Lyanna of Sweetwater, who'd been kidnapped. And there he was given a black and red suit while his normal garb was repaired. He then wound up in the Omicron star system and being attacked by Commander Malin's forces. So Hercules boarded their space station to confront the commander. Hercules ended up helping them by fighting back against the planet killer race that had terrorized the star system. But those aliens killed themselves just before Galactus showed up. Hercules then had to take on both Galactus and his current herald, Frankie Ray, aka Nova. 
In the second volume, Hercules was in the year 2385, far in the future, fighting on an asteroid called Lerarak 7. He single-handedly took on the entirety of the Omicron army. He found out that Sasha the supermodel was actually Skippy the Scroll, then ended up pairing with a lady named Tyne Prentice. He fought Red Wolf, met up with Apollo, and then a guy named Shrek found Captain Marvel's old tomb and stole his power bands and used them to attack Titan while Hercules was headed there. And by the time Hercules got back to Olympus, his dad Zeus, mad again, and killed everyone. Then of course, Zeus and Hercules ended up in a massive battle of behemoths, but Zeus' love as a father won out in the end. These space stories were an alternate reality version of Hercules, who also showed up in Marvel Tales, the book Prince of Power Full Circle, a story in Marvel Comics Presents, and finally a book called Hercules Twilight of a God by Bob Layton. Back on Earth in the main continuity, Hercules teamed up with Thor, the Fantastic Four, the Avengers to fight demons when the casket of Ancient Winters was released in advance of Surtur's arrival. To make it more dire, Maelstrom was resurrected and brought back the likes of Helio and Phobos as well. Maelstrom was able to capture Hercules, Wonder Man, and Star Fox and imprison them until they could be rescued. And later, Hercules battled with the Blood Brothers but ended up losing his skirt in the fight, so he decided to update his costume to avoid further embarrassment. He actually had to borrow Scarlet Witch's cape to cover himself up. Later, they had to fight Vision at the Avengers Mansion and they battled different variants of Vision, where Hercules took on a brawny version of Viz. Apollo then brought a new set of clothes to Hercules before Hercules joined Captain America, Star Fox, Black Knight, and the Wasp to journey to the South. Savage Land to help out Kazar. There they ended up fighting with Terminus, where Star Fox threw Hercules at the massive robot, ripping it apart, and he remained with the Avengers till tragedy struck. At one point, Baron Zemo and the Masters of Evil attacked Avengers Mansion, taking over the compound and attacking their butler Jarvis in the process. Hercules, who'd been drinking, rushed the villains to save Jarvis and managed to fight back for a bit before the Wrecking Crew, Goliath, and Mr. Hyde beat Hercules into a coma. Zeus thought the Avengers were responsible for his son's condition and brought the wrath of the gods down upon them even as the Avengers tried to figure it out but later when Herc was well enough he told his father that the Avengers were innocent so Zeus stood down. The Avengers were sent home but Hercules left the team and stayed in Olympus. Hercules later helped the Avengers battle with the High Evolutionary defending Earth during the Evolutionary War but during that story Hercules was evolved and transformed beyond godhood in the process and disappeared. It was much later still in god mode that Thor traveled to the Black Galaxy and found Hercules saved him and brought him back to Earth and while back on Earth Hercules took on the name Harry Cleis to remain incognito. When Thor rescued him from the Black Galaxy, he had actually took Hercules away in the middle of a procedure where the Celestials had been preparing Hercules to give rise to a new Celestial, but that was cut off when Thor pulled him out, and thus Hercules left a piece of himself in the Black Galaxy, and because that piece was missing, Hercules on Earth would freeze up and consistently either lose his fights or need Thor to save him. So Thor and Hercules traveled back to the Black Galaxy so the procedure could be completed, thus making Hercules whole once more. In New Mutants 81, the New Mutants went to see a movie about Hercules called Prince of Power, which turned out to be starring the real Hercules himself. And then, you look the troll helped Wrecker from the Wrecking Crew attack Hercules until Thor could show up to help, for Hercules was still traumatized from when he was put into the coma by the Wrecking Crew. Hercules was then part of Captain America's delegation to the Kree Empire to try to convince them to leave their ongoing Kree Scroll War off of Earth's doorstep and then join Iron Man in his quest to slay the Kree's supreme intelligence. And then Hercules fell in love with a lady named Taylor Madison in order to lure into a trap. Zeus scolded Hera and encouraged his battle-worn son to return to his side, but Hercules refused, and so Zeus, angry about this, stripped Hercules of his godhood and much of his power. Still, he remained with the Avengers, even befriending a new member named Deathcry during this time. He was still dealing with a lot of emotions and thoughts, and his drinking was kicked into overdrive when Onslaught showed up and seemingly murdered the Avengers. Hercules then decided to join a new team, the Heroes for Hire, but he was kicked off that team because his drinking was out of control. Then Hercules tried to recruit Hulk so they could infiltrate Olympus to use Zeus's seeing waters to find where the Avengers went, but Hulk refused, and because he refused, the two fought, nearly killing Hercules in the fight. Zeus tried to help him, even saying he'd give him his godhood back, but Hercules refused. He wanted to remain mortal, to remain in pain, and to seek and understand the human condition. And when Hercules had left the heroes for hire, he had become really depressed. And this is when S.H.I.E.L.D. approached Hercules, asking for his help, defeating his brother Ares and Ares Warhawks. Hercules joined S.H.I.E.L.D. and he became Agent 125. Hercules had another run-in with Spider-Man, who'd webbed up a giant message on the World Trade Center calling Hercules out, but then they ended up teaming up together to head to Crete to battle Dr. Zeus's forces. During this time, he also fought the Jake Olsen version of Thor. And with his extra time on Avengers Reserve status, Hercules went after Atlas from the Thunderbolts, who'd been one of the villains to put him in the coma years ago, and it was Hawkeye who convinced him to stand down from the fight. 
And then more tragedy. Scarlet Witch went mad, killing most of the team at the same time that Ragnarok hit Asgard and took Thor's life. So Hercules really spiraled out of control again. Hera saw this and wanted to take advantage of Hercules' weakened mental and physical state and commissioned Eurystheus to do her bidding. He had Hercules undergo a modern age televised version of the Twelve Labors and this time he was defeated. Another god, a Shinto god named Amatsu, saw this and knew that Asgard had fallen and took this time to attack Olympus. As such, Hercules was sent back to Olympus and given his godhood back so he could defeat Amatsu and Amatsu's forces. And this is when Zeus also fell in battle, felled by Amatsu. At one point, Hercules stopped the bank robbery that Constrictor, Armadillo, and Jack-o'-lantern were conducting, which severely wounded Constrictor in the process. Constrictor sued Hercules for damage, so Hercules hired Mallory Brook as his defense attorney, but it was Mallory's associate, Jennifer Walters, aka She-Hulk, who convinced Hercules to just pay since both parties were liable in the case. Herc took Jennifer's advice and paid, but that left him close to broke, so Hercules took up construction work with an outfit called Damage Control, and he eventually won much of his wealth back by gambling for it with Constrictor. Around the time of the superhero Civil War, Hercules sided with Captain America's anti-registration faction. He joined Cap's Secret Avengers team, and together they fought back against the tyranny of the Superhuman Registration Act. Hercules single-handedly destroyed a Thor clone that Iron Man's pro-reg movement had created, a creation that he thought was an affrontery. After Hulk was banished from Earth and sent into space, Amadeus Cho figured out that Hulk would come back eventually, so he started to bring people together that could help Banner find peace. To that end, he manipulated the likes of Hercules and Angel by convincing him that S.H.I.E.L.D. was trying to kill him. The three of them went to Atlantis to try to also recruit Namor the Submariner, but Namor refused, however Namor's cousin joined them. And now with four members, they called themselves the Renegades. They went back to New York to find the Hulk was back, angrier and more powerful than ever, and, and that Hulk and his warbound had begun World War Hulk. They fought back as a team, with Hercules and Namora getting close. After they took down Zom, the World War Hulk had ceased, and Hercules recognized Cho for remaining true to his friends. In the wake of Hulk's war, Hercules and Amadeus Cho were arrested for the damage that they had caused while fighting S.H.I.E.L.D.'s troops, and so to save his new friend, Hercules said he would register with the government and accept his charges. Hercules' brother Ares, who himself was now an Avenger, wasn't happy with this, and said he'd make Hercules' pro-registration life very difficult. With that knowledge, Hercules and Amadeus Cho escaped and became fugitives from Ares and from S.H.I.E.L.D. During this time, they went to find Hercules' half-sister Athena, and the trio went to the Dreaming Celestial at the Golden Gate Bridge. That's when Athena and Icarus of the Eternals attacked, wrongly thinking that Hercules was Gilgamesh. After that misunderstanding was cleared up, Athena appointed Hercules to a new team called the God Squad, which is made up of gods from various pantheons and who were tasked with killing the Skrull gods in order to turn the tide of the Skrull's secret invasion, and getting close with the Canadian demigod Snowbird in the process. He then went on vacation with Namora, which is an Amadeus Cho was captured by Amazons. So Namora and Hercules, after saving Poseidon, went to the Amazon to rescue their friend and ended up in a confrontation with one of Hippolyta's creations, the leader of the Amazons, named Artum. To make it worse, Pluto and Hera took over a corporation called Olympus Group, which is where the Olympians had now consolidated their power on Earth and brought the full weight of the company down upon both Hercules and Athena to kill them. However, they killed Artum and saved the world. Then Namora left to join the agents of Atlas, leaving Cho and his friend Hercules together again. Hercules was one of the heroes to join the mighty Avengers team, however they were manipulated by Loki in order to weaken Norman Osborn, and later they defeated the elder god Cthon, who had taken over Scarlet Witch's brother Quicksilver's body. And then Hera attacked Hercules, Cho, and Athena, followed by Norman Osborn's Avengers team, so they headed down to Hades where Zeus was put on trial. Zeus was found guilty and transformed into a childlike state. They then had to assault New Olympus to stop Hera's Olympus group from releasing something called Continuum, which would replace reality with only those loyal to her. By this time, Hercules also had a wife named Hebe, and when he found her, she was kissing Spider-Man, so Hercules and Spider-Man ended up fighting with each other, but they came to an agreement. He then defeated Typhon, and when Athena destroyed a portal, Hercules was trapped in another dimension, though all thought that he had died in the massive blast. And in 2010, heroes of Earth mourned Hercules, thinking him now deceased. All his closest allies and friends came to his funeral to regale each other with stories and tales of their fallen friend. While Hercules was off the board and unable to interfere, Athena, now ruling Olympus, appointed Amadeus Cho as head of Olympus group on Earth, her earthly hand. That's when Cho got the power of a god but didn't want it, so he went and rescued Hercules and gave Hercules that power. It was a good timing too because the Chaos War was about to begin. Hercules first, drunk on his new power, attacked the Council of Godheads and then went after Amatu again and even brought together a new god squad. 
Hercules messed up and allowed Amatsu to learn the location of the Council of Godheads. So Hercules was relentless in his attacks which caused a rift between him and his friends as they wanted him to find a smarter way. It was the goddess Gaia who was able to convince Hercules to try something else. Gaia powered up Hercules even more and took his immense power to fight Amatsu directly. Cho and Galactus opened a portal and Hercules knocked Amatsu through the portal and Amatsu was trapped there in a bubble void with Hera. Hercules used his immense power to restore the world to the way it was and in doing so wiped out his own power, leaving Hercules mortal once more. Mortal Hercules went to Brooklyn and found a job working at a bar. He'd stolen the helm of Hades, the shield of Perseus, and the sword of Peleus from the armory of Ares, god of war. Powerless, he thought this gear would help him keep on fighting, but when a group of criminals escaped from the supervillain Supermax person called the Raft, including Hecate, he met his match. Hecate stole the shield of Perseus from him, which cured her amnesia. She then took over Brooklyn, New York. Griffin, who had also escaped, devolved, so he ended up saving Hercules' life and becoming Hercules' mystic steed, which he used to fly around the city. They found Manbull and Basilisk, who had also escaped from the raft. And they attacked Hecate and Kiknos, saving the city and also preventing Ares from being resurrected at the same time. Right after this, while at the bar he now owned, Hercules was bitten by a bedbug and he was given powers, transforming into Spider Herc during a story called Spider Island. The Spider Island Queen sent Spider Herc to attack the X Men, and in the midst of their battle, Spider Herc morphed into Herc Spider. They became trapped in a magical web, and the goddess Arachne appeared, enthralled with Hercules' new form, and they embraced. This distraction allowed a guy named A. Nancy, really the African spider god Anansi, to steal Arachne's woven tapestry. After the Spider Island event, Peter Parker cured Hercules, and not long after that, Hercules became an interim professor at Avengers Academy. And Tigra, someone who's usually scantily clad herself, was appalled by Hercules' state of dress, lack thereof really, and made him put something on. This was during Avengers vs. X-Men, and it was Hercules who came up with the idea to hold an Olympic-style event between their two schools to help ease the tension of the conflict. And then during Hercules' next miniseries, he had changed up his look, had gotten an apartment in Astoria, and even had a guy sleeping on his couch who was trying to get back on his feet. He had lost his reputation and his status as a hero, so to regain that, Hercules took on a group of gods called Uprising Storm, which included the god of data. He'd asked for help, but this was during the Second Civil War and those heroic factions were busy battling themselves. Instead, Hercules formed his own team called the Gods of War to fight and defeat the Uprising Storm team. Then during Secret Empire, when Hydra used a cosmic cube to take over Earth, Hercules was part of the underground resistance to fight back. During Worlds Collide, when High Evolutionaries Counter-Earth threatened Earth, Hercules gathered with the Avengers along with the Young Champions team in Kentucky to prevent a meteor from destroying Earth on impact. Herc's maze disappeared right out of his hands, and Cyclops blasted Cho Hulk and Herc at the meteor to smash it into bits. Out of the meteor emerged a new man, Minotaur, an emissary of High Evolutionaries, so Herc and Hulk battled the massive brute. They then had to fight off High Evolutionary to save Viv Vision and the whole Earth from his plan to merge the two worlds. And then Hercules teamed up with Ben Grimm along with the Human Torch to figure out how to help Johnny stop losing his powers. Later when Grandmaster and Challenger stole Earth, the Avengers split up to cover more ground and Hercules was on the team that went to Rome to investigate the pyramid objects that the Black Order and the Lethal Legion were fighting over. And Herc then joined Thor, Voyager, Rogue, and Lightning to fight the Black Order in Antarctica. Herc, Rogue, and Thor fought with the Hulk, trying to save Wonder Man from him at the vault, and really Wandy too, which is in both the plot and Voyager's hand and it were exposed. He was later with Thor when they were attacked by the Poisons, Taskmaster, Hawkeye, and Crossbones. And during that story, Hercules joined Kid Kaiju, Anti-Venom, Miss Marvel, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, and Captain America to assault Alchemax, but were then attacked by a Poison-controlled Thanos. However, that all ended when the Poison Queen perished. During another story called No Road Home, Hercules teamed up with Rocket Raccoon to fight back against Nyx, the goddess of night, and joined Voyager's team to battle her and Nyx's children. Voyager sent Hercules along with Scarlet Witch, Vision, and Spectrum to Omnipotent City during that quest. In the city, Hercules was hit with some daggers and forced to turn on his team, and later during the fight with Nyx, Vision and Hercules were seemingly killed. But he wasn't, so Hercules then tracked Nyx to Euphoria. And there, Euphoria asked their greatest desires, trying to see who was worthy of the Night Shard. In another battle, Nyx stole the last Night Shard and then went to Long Island to reshape the Earth. So they pursued her. Hercules held a door open long enough for Vision to get to Nyx and finally defeat her. And afterward, everyone was returned to life. Later, Hercules found out that the Olympians were alive again and headed out to find them and his reborn family, though he ended up being captured by the Dark Olympians. So the Guardians of the Galaxy ended up having to attack New Olympus and destroy it with a black hole bomb. And while there, they found the captured Hercules and freed him from captivity. And it was during this period when Hercules became romantically involved with Marvel Boy, Novar, and was now a spacefaring member of the Guardians team. That plotline carried over to Marvel's Voices Pride, where Hercules and Marvel Boy ended up in front of the Supreme Medusa, 
Herc also confronted an alien named Other One who was calling himself the Prince of Power, but his youth and arrogance got in the way more than had helped. After the Empire event, Dormammu in possession of Ego the Living Planet attacked and Hercules joined his Guardians team on Throne World 2 in the ruins of Hala to fight back. Herc and Marvel Boy then showed up at a cosmic bar where the Guardians of the Galaxy rolled in for a few drinks, which is where he remains to this day. And lately, Hercules showed up in the Thing series in a jail cell in the mortal version of Hades, though this was a new story from days gone by. And where will he show up next? We'll have to wait and see, which means that's a wrap on this one, my friends. I'm Jesse, this is JLS Comics. Thanks for watching.